Much of the blame for the current stock market turmoil has been the fear of rising interest rates, which could negatively affect sectors, including the housing market. That is a very important and large part of the overall economy. Let's talk about it with Mitch Rochelle of PricewaterhouseCoopers and David Bonson, author of Crisis of Responsibility, Our Cultural Addiction to Blame and How You Can Cure It. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. All right, morning. David, come on. Is a 3% interest rate yield, is, is, is that such a bad thing? Well, it depends on the reason you get there, and the answer is no. I mean, a 10-year 3% yield, of course, is actually very low historically. Certainly in this decade post-crisis, it would be a higher level, and the market has to absorb it. But if you have productive growth getting you there as opposed to inflationary pressures, I think it's a very positive thing. Speaking of the tax cut stimulus um, and the effects of it, which it has been seen to a small degree with 300 plus companies handing out bonuses and the like. Yes, but, but David, do you think in the long run that the tax cut and the pro-business deregulatory agenda of the White House right now is going to produce that 4% GDP that we need to bring down the deficit and continue to grow the economy? Well, I don't think that we need 4% real GDP, but I think it's very possible we hit it. Mm -hmm. I think you need 3% plus real GDP. We had that. Well, what, we've had it for two quarters. We were 2.6 last, but you have to get it sustainable. That's the point I was going to make. If you get sustainable real GDP growth with a three handle, I think that you can do all sorts of things. Um, well, you could end up hitting four in the initial uh, uh, run we have here as the tax cuts first kind of take effect. Right. But it's more going forward. Can we get something that is a full percentage point year over year over year higher than we've had the last six? Six, seven, eight years. That's very important. I think it will happen. I think it can happen. But we just have to continue proceeding with deregulatory efforts. That's the big key here. The tax reform bill is done. Now we just have to continue to work on taking our thumb off of what's hurting businesses in their efforts to uh, grow. And then if the economy continues to grow and rates go up, no big deal, right? Maybe the stock market would stabilize again. Uh, David, Mitch, thank you so much, gentlemen. Good thank to see you. Thank you, Lauren.